I'm Donna. And I'm Donna. Tonight, we are just sitting here chit-chatting, and it's just going to be us, and we're going to take a personality test. We're going to try to get to know each other even more than we do, and let you know us, too. So, um, anyway, this is from, this is a free personality test. It's from 16 personalities, so you can take it also. It's, we just Googled it. Um, it's based off the Myers-Briggs, um, personality test and it's going to make statements and then you can either agree or disagree and then based upon all the answers it figures out what you are so are you ready yeah you want to read i can um you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people i disagree i agree um you often get so lost in thought that you ignore or forget your surroundings I, can I disagree. I, can, I agree. I, I can do that. <laughs> you try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. Mm. I don't pay attention to that, really. Yeah, I'm going to disagree with that, too. Donna's on the computer a lot more than I am. <laughs> and then we've got, you find it easy to stay, re stay relaxed even when there's some pressure. I disagree with that. I disagree. Um, you do not usually initiate conversation. I totally disagree because I'm always chatty. And I'm going to agree midway because I would rather somebody else and I would rather somebody else initiate the conversation. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. I disagree. I can do anything out of sheer curiosity. I can too. Okay. Right. And then we're clicking to the next. You feel superior to other people. Disagree. Disagree strongly. Being organized is more <clears throat> important to you than being adaptable. I, I'm not organized. So. I strongly disagree because I think being adaptable is huge. Yeah, because if you don't, then you're crazy the whole entire day. Mm -hmm. um, you're yeah. usually highly motivated and energetic. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I disagree. Um, winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. I'm going to agree with that one. I disagree. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be in a conversation, you're going to get upset because someone's talking. And then why be talking? Okay. You often feel <laughs> as if you have to justify yourself to other people. I, I do feel like that. Um, your home and work environments are quite tidy. Disagree. Absolutely disagree. I'm not a tidy person. I'm a clean person, but you know, I'm I don't care if stuff's like everywhere. <laughs> you do not mind being at the center of attention. I agree with that. And I disagree because I don't want to be a center of attention. I do. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, you consider yourself more practical than creative. Disagree? I'll disagree with that too. People can rarely upset you. I will disagree with that because people always upset me. <laughs> I can disagree, I think. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Disagree. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Disagree. I disagree. You read. All right. Your mood can change very quickly. Who, me? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> um, in a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Truth or sensitivity? Um, the truth this. shall set you free. Yeah. You rarely worry about how your actions affect people. I agree. And I strongly disagree. I, I do. It does cause some problems, but that is me. Your work style is closer to your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. I'm gonna disagree a little bit with that. I'm agreeing. You are often envious of others. Never. No. I mean, it's just, you know, with age, your life is yours. 
Yeah, yeah that's a good one. That's right. Um, an interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. Agree. I disagree. I like to get around. Uh -huh. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. Disagree. I'm going to agree midway. I think, yeah. I wouldn't consider I mean, a plan is good. <laughs> I don't really consider myself a planner, but sometimes it, the planning comes out in me. My sister's a planner. Yeah, well, I'm not a planner in most things, but yeah, but some things. And Brenda, my daughter, yeah. is a planner. Holly's a planner. Okay, you rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Rarely disagree. I agree. Okay. You often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. Agree. agree. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Yeah, I do. No. I used to, you know, I used to do that and you'd wait by the phone kind of thing. Well, now you don't have to sit at home and wait well, for I know, someone but, to call. But that's what it reminds me now of. Now we just like yeah. got to make sure we can hear it when it's in our pocket. Yeah. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. That one is like not a good question. Because <laughs> okay. really, if you're smart, you'll be a kind person. Well, maybe. Not everybody knows that, though. Oh, well. You don't let other people influence your actions. I disagree with that. I'm influenced a lot by I'm people. not. Um, when you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. Me, mm, disagree with that. I disagree. Okay. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. I agree. I'm going to agree with that one, too. You are more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Yes, I agree mm. with that. You too? Yeah, even when I'm supposed to plan, I don't. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> your emotions control you more than you control them. No. Yes. Mm -mm. Okay, you enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role play activities. Yes, Halloween is about to come. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Okay. You often spend time exploring. Uh, mm -hmm. You often. Yeah, I can't talk now. You often spend Thank time you. exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing. Intriguing. Oh. Ideas. Sorry. You often. Yeah, I'm going to agree. Agree. Okay. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. Mm, I'm going to disagree a little bit. Uh, I think if I had a plan, it'd be nice. <laughs> you are a relatively reserved and quiet person. No. I, I think I'm going to say yes for me. Do you? Would you say yes? Relatively reserved Maybe and quiet. Maybe I should have took your test. <laughs> well, we should take it on for each other. I'm going to agree with that. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal and unperforming employees. Oh, yeah, I would agree with that. Oh, unfortunately, I would agree with that because I think, what the heck, just do it, do your job. <laughs> you often contemplate the reasons for human existence. Mm. No. <laughs> I do a little bit. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. <sighs> Agree. No, I don't. Okay. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Yeah. No. <laughs> if your friend is sad about something, you are most more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Ooh. Um. Isn't that the same thing? No. Like, I'll be like, emotional support is like, I understand, I know, it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. And, um, 
ways to deal with it is, well, you can pull yourself out of it, but you got to get a job. Okay. You have to go to right. the to the okay, store. Right. You got to buy something. You know that kind yeah. of. Thing. Do you agree? If not, then just say in the comments below, and okay. then like us and subscribe. <laughs> Where are we at? I am on next. Okay. You rarely feel insecure. Disagree. I agree. That's you awesome. have no difficulties coming up with the personal timetable and sticking to it. No, I have all. I disagree. Bring right. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. Mm -hmm. Disagree. <sighs> Sometimes I'm pretty bad, so I'm going to go in the middle with agree. Okay. Um, you think that everyone's views should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not. No. Yeah. I'm going to go close to the middle, though. <clears throat> you feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Agree. And see, that's, I'm totally... I'm way over on that. No, that wears me out. You frequently misplace your things. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, I do. I do too. You see yourself as very emotionally stable. <laughs> I think I am. I kind of think I am too. But she's going for the middle. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> just a little bit this way. Okay. <laughs> your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Yes. I'm going. I've got I disagree. A thousand different businesses and creations. She's very creative. That's right. Okay. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Oh, I disagree. I'm I a dreamer. disagree. I am a daydreamer. I dream of things mm -hmm. and I visualize things. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to get a vision and I'm going to go for it. Um, you usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. <laughs> I don't yes. care. I've gotten to the point where I know that um, most people are, you know, I mean, they might not even be listening. Well, that's so true. <laughs> I don't even know why the, I worry. Yeah. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Agree. Oh, no. no. You worry too much about what other people think. Yes, all the way. <laughs> and the room is cool. Okay? You stay closer <laughs> to the walls, avoiding the center. Yes, I agree. Wall hugger. Yeah, probably. I disagree. Um, you have a tendency to procrastinate until there's not enough time to do everything. I agree. I agree. <laughs> You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Yeah. Um, I get more like, I don't really think I get, I probably get anxious, but usually I get mad. You know, like, apparently, Ugh. Apparently, that's a sign of anxiety. Okay. Yeah. Cause you believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Yes. I mean, who wants to be powerful? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, you read. Okay. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things, e.g., for example, in books, art, or movies. I agree. I agree with that. You often take initiative in social situations. Yeah. I mean, I can take initiative, but not like... Yeah, not, no. I would say no, not for, no, not da, social. Na, na, na. Disagree. This is the last question. No, is do, it? Do, do, oh, do, it do, is. Do, 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 We're do. waiting on the results. We're going to get the results. <gasps> I'm a mediator. I am an INFP. And I am a <laughs> entertainer. Surprise. Surprise. Entertainer. <laughs> and an ESF. P dash A. Well, let's, we both have the FP. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go here and see. And just, um, let's see. I, look, look, I am 75% an introvert. Let's see. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yes. 
You are 93% extroverted, which means... I like to be around people. You draw your energy from people, and, and I, do, I, I do. get my energy Like, see, from I'm you. getting ready to go to Mayberry, and I'm already <laughs> energized thinking about being around all of them, and I'm not even there yet. See, and when she was in Disney World, you were down there like every day for a week, right? Yes. Christmas. And I would look at her pictures on Facebook, and it would just... Suck me dry just thinking about being around all of those people that many days in a row. I would never have survived. It was warm. It was cold here. Too much going on. Oh, it's great. Look, I'm 89% intuitive. What happened to nature? What do you mean? Oh, okay. I see it now. You're 54. You're right in the middle on intuitive. I'm like, I'm 89%. And then, let's see. That That is, what is that? That is... That's, okay, the nature is feeling. Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, oh, spaghetti-o. Oh, here, I'm back, I'm back, I'm Are back. You? Okay. What's happening to me? I'm going like... Okay, so, thinking versus feeling. I am 51% feeling. I totally lost my nail. <laughs> <laughs> Go that away. Go that away. Huh? Oh, yeah, it's not. And it's not. It's gone. I guess you. You all get to know the entertainers. <laughs> And she, oh my god, I totally lost it. All right, I'm just and gonna she's look at the thinker. I know I looked at hers and it said she was the thinker. And then, no, we um, both got the same. Didn't we get no, the same? No, I was feeling, yeah, I was too feeling I, I, because we were both. At, I was 51 percent. We were, she was, we were here. We had 50 or we had feeling and and P. We had the we both had the F and the P at the end. And I am not judgy. I don't judge people. Right? Very good. No. <laughs> yes. That's right. You are, yes. Pursuit. I'm assertive. And I'm turbulent. And. Who would have ever um, thought turbulence? And I am going to. <laughs> when you get done with this, if you do it, um, you can just send it to email if you don't lose it like Donna did. <laughs> Okay. You guys can look up the mediator. And um, there's like 4%. Did, your statistics, what? did you say how many, um, like the percentage of people that are what you are? Go to the top again. Does it say? No, it doesn't say. It says, I will make you Do start smile. reading. Do start reading. I don't know. She's like scrolling through my phone. Okay. Yeah. That. <laughs> Of all things, I dropped it, and it's like, oh, I've dropped it a thousand times, and I say, I, I need to get a case. I need to get a case. And then this last time, it was, I wish I would have had a case. I wish I would have had a case. So I busted the camera. I'm so sad. But it's still taking good pictures, but we'll see. Take a picture of I'm, I'm worried about um, Mayberry, and I don't want any of my pictures messed up. So, <laughs> ta-da! So funny. see, it's not bad. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. good. Yeah. So, kind of what's going on is, um, we really we want you to get to know us. I mean, there's a few things I know that some people can sit and you think, oh, everybody that takes this test, they end up with the exact same thing. Well, we didn't. Mm -hmm. So I came up with the entertainer, and she's the mediator. And so, that really, to me, makes sense, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. She wants I, everybody happy. <laughs> and yes. I want to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you are happy. I know. So. Um, and we hope that you're happy when you watch us. Yes. 
But really, we need to say, because we, you know, get going and we forget to say, look at the button below. It says subscribe. There's a little bell, and you mm -hmm. push that, and then you'll get notifications when we're on here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not that we're trying to be, you know, the most famous people in the world, but um, I am, because I'm the entertainer, <laughs> but... And I want to um, keep her happy, so I'm doing my best to help this along. So, really, what we need is, or what we would like, is for you to push that button. So, that way, we know who's, like, watching us, which which is more interesting, which isn't. Because, really, we read every single thing that you all write to us. And there's not much, so please, start writing. <laughs> anyway, join us. And yes. um, our next adventure is... You're going to Mayberry. I'm excited about going. My sister and my brother-in-law, don't ask me how many years. I'm not going to talk about them all. But it's Debbie and Daryl. That's my sister and my brother-in-law. And they lived in Salisbury. They went to Silver Creek. You know, all this stuff. They've been married forever. Childhood sweethearts. Their life is great. And it really is great. But they end up moving to Mayberry, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And with that happening, I ended up going to visit and they have a shop on Mayberry on Main Street and then all of a sudden I go there's a parade there's all these people there it was all about Mayberry it was so much fun and it is like the favorite thing I ever do that's awesome it is that's awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um they have like these people do they act in and portray the people on the show they look just like them, act like them. You know, they say stuff like, I don't know. It's me, it's me, it's Donna T. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, and he throws rocks and then, you know, they do <laughs> I like. Don't, um, I don't do that. I'm going to have to start doing that. Donna they, T, I throw a rock at your house. They have a parade. They do a golf tournament. They do like show skits. And then some of the people that, um, there was someone on Gomer Pile. His name's Ronnie Shell. He was Gomer Pyle friend and he goes and he does like a little you know spill and it's real interesting and then you have um the lady that played tinkerbell yeah um, she comes um annie griffith's daughter's there her name's dixie and um, we have george Lindsay jr and um i mean there's so many things and then just listen and everybody there it's fun and it's clean, you know, I always said it, fun and clean, because, you know, who's going to be cussed in Mayberry? That's right. They don't even know how, do they? I mean, they, they probably Golly. know how. They, that's right, that's <laughs> right. So, um, it's interesting. I mean, if anybody watches Mayberry, you know, then you kind of know where I'm at. I feel like I'm mm -hmm. back in time. Everybody's real comfortable, friendly, happy. And, and there is there, like, um... I mean, Mike checked out like the hotels and everything, and it looks like like they're all booked. They're all full within like 20 miles. Of there it. are so many people that come. Is that, mm -hmm. that so? That's like the main time of the year for people yes, all yes, around yes. the world to come. Yes, that's and awesome. then there's um they have a museum because Andy Griffith was born there. Andy Taylor, you know, but anyway, <laughs> he was born. In that area. So there's like, you know, the Barney car, and I'll take you by his house. You can see where he lived. And I mean, they do a little bit more with the tour. There's the jail with the little bars and yeah. the one key hanging and all that. It's just fun because you feel like you're right there with all the characters. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is really neat. That's so. Neat. Very I bet nice. you're excited. I am excited. Mm -hmm. And it seems like the ones that play in like the little shows and stuff, they bring you in. They don't like. Oh, leave me alone. I'm a celebrity. You know, they're just great. I love them. They're that's fun. good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, that's good. I can't wait to see um, some of the stuff that you bring back. And I know. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I am too. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited for you to go. That's All right. Awesome. And I'm Donna. And I'm Donna. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Yeah, like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>